Hey everybody, happy Tuesday morning. We're doing a live what's sold on a Tuesday because I was driving back from Orlando Sunday and then I had to go pick up Remy and then I was exhausted and sore because it was a long weekend of fun but a lot of walking around theme parks. So uh, I will say I did not close my Poshmark store this time around. I <clears throat> decided that if I'm not going to be gone, if I'm going to be gone less than a week, I'm not closing my store because one, I want to make sales while I'm gone because, you know, money. And two, I'm not closing my store because I think it messes with the algorithm a lot somehow. I have no idea how it messes with it, but literally I feel like the times I've gone um, on vacation and put my closet on vacation mode, I'm literally starting from baseline zero again and I have to build everything up again and I don't want to do that. <laughs> it's a lot of work. So <clears throat> I've decided if it's less than a week, I'm going to leave my closet open and then I guess other longer trips I'll have to take into account what's going on. Maybe I'll have someone come over and do some stuff for me while I'm gone for those trips. I don't know yet, but I did have sales while I was gone. So I was happy about that. This is sales for about the last two weeks or so, and uh, let's see. I think that's about it. I did want to make another announcement, and I'll do that at the end of this video. Um, yeah, so stay tuned for that. But <clears throat> I'm going to get right into it because I won't, don't want this to be five hours long. <laughs> but we did have some sales, so that is good. And our first sale is actually really cute. It's this wood class beaded and stone stretchy belt. It was, it had very, it had no tags on it at all. Uh, it just had like a wood, um, like clasp. And then it was this really pretty beading with stones and everything <clears throat> around the whole thing. And it was stretchy. So it had a little bit of give to it. It did have give me kind of anthropology vibes and it wasn't anthropology that I know of but it was really cute. It did sell for $22. Uh, it took about three to four months to sell and I ended up making $15 and 15 cents on it, which is not bad for a belt. And it was really cute. So I would definitely pick that up again. It was from the bins. <clears throat> this next sale is actually, um, from my own closet. Like I said, I've been doing a huge closet clean out myself. And so uh, I did take a little bit less money on this than I would have liked, but it was Michael Michael Kors teal black zebra stripe cold shoulder blouse. It had gold chain uh, straps. <clears throat> it was a size extra large. Uh, I got this actually on a cruise when I was in Italy. I love this shirt so much, but it was just one of those things I had to let go. It didn't fit right now. So. I did sell it for $20. I didn't take a profit on it because it came from my own closet and I did pay for it. And I think I paid more than $20. So <clears throat> I usually don't pay that much for clothes, but that was a special situation. <laughs> but it was a really cute top. There weren't very many. I didn't see really any of the same top available anywhere. So I was kind of sad to take that low of an amount. But it was one of those things where I was like, do I want to keep holding on to this? for no reason or just take my money and run. So I ended up accepting that offer that was sent to me. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, our next sale was a fun one. It was actually something I picked up in a regular Goodwill. It was this Ford and Forever 21 collab bikini top. It was new with tags. It was a size small. Um, so you can see like the huge Ford tag. This definitely has a following. I got a lot of likes on this, like a lot. So, but I was kind of a stickler because I did pay up for it on how much I would accept. So it did end up selling for $18 on an offer. 
and I ended up making $11.34. And it took about five months to sell. I know some of the Forever 21 collabs do pretty well. I figured this one would. And I mean, I'm pretty happy with the, with the outcome. So. <clears throat> Next sale is really cute bag. This is a Style Mark red velvet double class clutch purse. It was vintage, I'm pretty sure. Um, I've had this for a while, but it had like these interesting clasps. And then the inside, that is the tag on it. Uh, it did sell for $14 with a shipping discount. I ended up making $8.35 on it, but it take, did take a year and a half to sell. So I was super happy that it left the house. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm having like trouble today. Um, this is something that someone was like, once they bought it, I think they were like, can I get this by Saturday? And I said, I'll put it in the mail tomorrow. And it got there and she was happy. <clears throat> so that worked out for everybody. And I was just happy to have that out of my inventory, honestly. Next one is Victoria's Secret. And... I will say some of these have been selling for a lot less than they used to, it feels like. There's a Victoria's Secret sheer baby doll lingerie, red and pink, had a big bow in the front. Um, it only sold for $11, which I was not super happy about, but it was one of those things I'd had it for 11 months, so I was just kind of like, sure, someone sent me an offer. Um, I ended up making $6.98 on it, and it's gone. But I will say a lot of the Victoria's Secret stuff I feel like was doing a lot better previously is just not getting these, I don't know, the in the good the goodness that it used to, for lack, I don't know how to say that. <clears throat> the interest, I guess it's not getting the interest that it used to. And that's Remy. Uh, next was this Crown and Ivy Pink Eyelet Detail Tie Back Keyhole Shirt, size extra large. It was new with tags. Um, I actually picked this up originally to take to buy, sell, trade. And then I, I think I've taken it to buy, sell, trade a couple times. And it didn't sell, so I finally ended up listing it. Uh, it did sell for $16, which is more than I would have gotten at buy, sell, trade. And I made $10.12 on it. It did take 10 months to sell. I say most stuff with tags, which you'll see later, a lot of it will eventually sell because it's, it is new. So <laughs> our next sale was a really good one. This is from one of my more recent blue boxes. The Goodwill blue box is a box of items, kind of a mystery box that you can buy. It's usually only available on 21 something. Actually, I have it right in front of me. 2143. So I've already, because um, I've sold some other stuff from this box, I've already made a pretty good profit on this box. Maybe I will do a throwback Thursday some point to let you know exactly what's sold from this box. <laughs> I did have some direct sales um, this past week, last week. Uh, my trainer and her sister got a couple things. Uh, that is not on this What Sold video because I don't have the photos and stuff. They did buy, um, I think, five, five or six items. So that was great because there were no fees. It was a direct sale. So that was, I think, I think they spent around $50, but that was before I took out cost of goods. <laughs> Uh, uh oh, wrong button. 
our next sale is a really cool item that took forever to sell, but it's a vintage eel skin lipstick case with a mirror. And it's literally made of eel skin. Let me see if I have the tag somewhere. I should. But it was really pretty blue color. Here's the tag. Genuine eel skin made in Korea. So it did finally sell for $12. And I ended up, and that was on an offer actually. So I ended up making $8.18. But it did take almost two years. Uh, one year and eight months to sell. So that was something that. I'm thankfully didn't take up very much room in my inventory, but it took forever to sell. Would I still pick it up? I don't know. Maybe I might try and like post it more somewhere else. Um, it was a really cool piece though. It was really good condition. So the next one is something I should have listed a lot sooner than I did <laughs> from my death pile. Um, it was this really cool Vogue Paris magazine cover, baguette, cross body, shoulder clutch chain purse. <laughs> I got an offer for 25. I had it listed, I think around 50, which was high for the comps, but there weren't that many in this size available. And it was kind of a unique piece. Someone sent me an offer for 25. And I went back and looked at comps and I ended up deciding to take the offer because I was like, if I don't take the offer and it sits and then it only ends up selling for 15, am I going to be mad? And I was like, yes. So I did accept the offer and I'm making $17 on this purse and it sold within like four to five months of me listing it. So it wasn't a horrible turnaround. I just, it did take forever to list this item because death pile. <laughs> So these next five sales, I'm um, a little worried about because I dropped them off the Sunday before um, Memorial Day at the post office and none of them tracked. I had to go into Poshmark and be like shipped but not tracking and none of them have tracked, none of them have delivered yet and it's been almost a week now. So fingers crossed they actually get to where they're going because they're really good sales. Well, some of them are. So I don't know. I'm a little bit worried. I had someone message me about one of them. And so this is a Massimo Gray Tom Petty Free Falling Lyric t-shirt. It had some wash wear. It did end up selling for $5. Um, actually on an offer. So I ended up making $1.29 on this in a year and a half. So yeah, not a good pickup at all. I did have a little bit of interest because of the Tom Petty, I think, aspect of it. But yeah, no, that would definitely not be a pickup I would do again. <laughs> uh, next was this Lily Pulitzer. Um, I have to hit all the buttons. This Lily Pulitzer wool Angora tank top with um, sequins around the neckline. It's really cute, very soft, and it did finally end up selling for $20. It's another one I've had forever. Had this for a year and six months, and someone sent me an offer for $20, and I ended up accepting it. I made $15.28. This is a person that messaged me about if I had shipped it yet, and I said, yes, it's been in the mail, but it has not started tracking. I said, sometimes it doesn't track until it's delivered, which fingers crossed is today. I don't, if it's not today, then I'm sure I'm going to start having some issues. So we'll see what happens. I put them all in the same mailbox. And so I don't know. I don't think that they could have been stolen unless there was something, somebody inside the post office. I don't know. So we'll see. Fingers crossed because uh, the next one was actually one of a good sale. So our next one was these Under Armour men's authentic NFL combined shorts. They were black, orange, and yellow, and they were size medium. They're in really good condition. They um, 
didn't have a specific team, I don't think, but this is what the NFL tag look like. And I've had really good luck with men's athletic shorts, but the backs were this bright orange and yellow waistband color. The fronts were more black, but they sold actually full price for $28. And I ended up, nope, I lied. I sent an offer for $28. <clears throat> I ended up making $19.95 on these and they took only a couple of months to sell. So those are definitely something I would pick up again. Hopefully they get delivered at some point too. I think a lot of these packages were going to New York, New Jersey area. And then there was one, I think, going to Ohio. So I don't know if there's an issue just with holiday and mail and I don't know. Who knows how that works out half the time. So. I just hope if there's an issue that I don't lose the product and the money for it. So next was this Reebok Gray Heathered CrossFit athletic t-shirt. I had one in a size medium and a large and the medium is the one that sold. I think, yeah, the medium is the one that sold. And so it was just a pretty basic gray shirt with a little bit of writing on it. And it said, um, constantly varied high intensity functional movement, CrossFit. And was there something on the back? I don't remember. Oh, the back said increased work capacity across broad time and modal domains. Anyway, it sold for $18. Nope, sold for $14. <laughs> and I ended up making $9.23 on it. It sold within a couple months. I do still have another one of these in a size large. So hopefully that one will eventually sell as well. And the last one in the grouping of things that I hope actually get to where it's supposed to go <laughs> is this LuLaRoe uh, Irma tunic top, geometric green black pattern, size extra large. It sold for $13 on an offer. I ended up making $5.05 and it took six months to sell. Uh, it was new with tags. So I don't know. Some of the LuLaRoe, if I start seeing it at the bins and it's a pretty good pattern uh, and it's new with tags, I may start picking up some of it because I've been having some fairly good luck with it recently. And then our next sale was a fun one. Not for a lot of money, but it was Jacqueline Smith high-waisted pink shorts with belt size 8. This is one I got an offer for 15 before and I declined because I wanted to get more and now I only sold it for 10. So this is why I, <laughs> I have these, uh, if I just, I just need to, uh, sell it for a little bit less than I'm hoping for, but more than I probably will in the future. Anyway, these took a year to sell. I ended up making $6 and 25 cents on them. And I think she gave me a five-star rating. So those are gone. Next was actually... <laughs> Hello. Hello, Janet and Bryn. Possibly both of you or one of you. I don't know. <laughs> I am kind of on sabbatical right now. I only work usually about one day a week, but this week I am working three days. Uh, I work Wednesday, Thursday, Friday this week. So I'll be working in Statesville two days and then one day in Charlotte. So, woo. <laughs> uh, next sale is actually a kid's item. It was J. Crew Crew Cuts. Um, Block print swim trunks, size 12, pink, purple, floral design. Uh, it's actually sold for $17 for a kid's item. Take it uh, with a shipping discount. But I ended up making $11.07 and it took about four months to sell. So I'm super happy with that kid's pickup. That probably helps that, uh, that whatever it's called, that haul pretty well. So don't sleep on kids items. 
they don't sell very quickly half the time, but when they do sell, sometimes you get some good money. <laughs> um, Janet, a sabbatical is when you take a huge pay cut to work on your mental and physical health. <laughs> So you may not want to sign up for it. <laughs> it's not fun in that respect. But mentally, it's great. <laughs> uh, next was actually a pickup from a regular Goodwill. And it was Buff Bunny. And they're a marble black and white athletic yoga legging, size small. I don't know. I really thought I was going to get more than $30. They did sell for $30 with a shipping discount, I think. Um, yeah. And so I really did think I was going to get a lot higher amount based on the comps for this, but I didn't. So I don't know if I would pick it up at a regular Goodwill again. I would definitely pick it up at the bins. I did make $18.93 on them, and they sold within four months. They got a lot of people liking them, but it did take a little bit of time for someone to finally buy them. And I think it was the price. The price had to go down. So. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I work for myself. So if you don't work, you don't get paid. <laughs> um. Next, I actually picked this up when I was with Janet and Bryn. Uh, it's a head sailfish, barracuda, allegra, snorkel, and fin set. Adult size, large, extra large. I did find this at the bins, new in bag. And it did sell for $22. I ended up making $15.16 on this. And it sold within a couple months because I did take a long time to list it. <laughs> Because it was also a death pile item. That was one of those things that I just didn't feel like listing. And then, of course, I listed it in its sales. So, list your death pile because people want the stuff that's in it. <laughs> Moral of the story. <clears throat> yeah, I'm pretty happy for the $22. Uh, next is actually the last thing um, I sold from a bunch of stuff I bought on Poshmark to resell, and it was a horrible sale. Uh, it was an Avenue Exposed Team Fit and Flare dress, size 1820. It was new with tags. It only sold for $15. I was not super happy with that, but it is what it is. It's gone. I ended up making $9.17, and it took a year, and I actually am hoping to put out a throwback Thursday on this um on that haul uh this week but we will see because i am working three days so i will have to film that probably today if i'm if it's going to come out uh so it may be next week <laughs> we'll see we'll see what happens i've got two um i've got two thrift hauls well it's, a, it's one thrift haul but two parts kids and adult as well right now that um i need to edit from the Goodwill outlet in Charlotte. Next sale was actually a good one, I think. So I feel like I had heard of this. It's called Society of the Sun. It, is a, it was an exclusive buckle design. Um, and it was a size medium. It said live free. And... Uh, Let's see. It was, I don't know. I thought it was really cool. Like some of the writing was kind of had like a velour feel to it. Anyway, it sold for $16 on an offer and I ended up making $12 and 16 cents. And it only, it took less than a month to sell. I would probably pick it up again and see. Uh, Cause it was a bin. I'm pretty sure it was a bins pickup. So I'm not mad at that. Uh, then I actually got this from the stupid thread of box I hate. Uh, this anthropology left of center baby doll tank top 
size extra large, finally sold. It was new with tags. It was really cute, um, very summery. It finally sold for $26 with a shipping discount. I only made $17.32. And it did take nine to 10 months to sell. Uh, that haul or that thread up box, that first box I got, it was just trash. <laughs> I, I mean, I've just made back my money probably on it. And it's been almost a year. So next is a really fun one. This I actually the last couple was I sold while I was on vacation. So this actually sold um, while I was in Orlando. And it's a really cute vintage Linda Lori heads and tails black and white t-shirt. It had shoulder pads in it. Super fun 80s. <laughs> But the graphic was so cute. Um, that's the the name of the picture. They had all these cats on the front. And then um, on the back, it had all their butts. <laughs> so fun. There was definitely cracking and stuff in the graphic, which I did put in the listing. But someone sent me an offer for $33, which I gladly accepted. And I ended up making $25.59, and it sold within a couple months of listing it. So I was super happy with that. The next one was almost an oopsie. <laughs> I um, got an offer for this while I was on vacation, and someone offered me $20. And it was like, I looked at comps, and comps were pretty good for this boot. It's a Steve Madden a Delphi leather heeled booty. It was a size seven and a half. So I came back at 28 and I was like, I hope I don't regret countering this. And then they came back at 25. So I was okay with that. So I did accept $25 for these and I ended up making $19 and 15 cents and they did sell in less than a month. So I was super happy with that flip in the end. I thought 20 was a little bit low, most of the comps were much higher than that. Like I would say average comp was around 30. So 25 was definitely more in the range of what I was looking for. And then I actually have another kid's item that I sold. I actually thought this was going to sell a little bit better as well, but it, I mean, I'll take what I'll take. This was um, the Bonnie mob. It was organic cotton romper. It had mushrooms and woodland creatures. It was a size three to six months. It was really cute and had a really fun print on it. And um, someone sent me an offer for 15, which, you know, it's a kid's item. So I did accept that, even though this is kind of an expensive brand. Um, this is, oh, let me show you the tag for this. That's what it looks like, the Bonnie mob. Anyway, um... It did sell for 15. I am making $11.42 on it, which for a kid's item is pretty good. It did take seven months to sell. So again, I was happy to see that go. But really cute little romper. Yeah, exactly. I thought the 20 was a little bit too low, but, you know, 25 gets you there. <laughs> uh, next is actually great sale. Like, your guys are going to be kind of blown away probably. This is Van Heusen. They're women's slim fit stretch pull-on pants, khaki, size 6 to regular. A friend of mine gave me a bunch of free inventory again, and I got this listed because it was um, new with tag. And they ended up selling full price for $38. So I, like I said, I got these for free. They sold in a week and I made $30 and 40 cents on them. So that's why I was saying earlier in this that, you know, don't sleep on brands that you don't usually pick up if they're new with tags, because someone was looking for this, I guess, for work or whatnot. So I know it's Van Heusen, and that's something I would never pick up you normally. So, but I got it for free. <laughs> so very happy 
with that sale, I'm pretty, pretty excited about it, especially since it was free inventory. Thanks, Deb. And next is actually something I just picked up in Orlando in April. It was this vintage union made JCPenney Adana nude corset size 34A. I think I had it listed for about 25 on Poshmark because it did have a little fuzzing around some of the edges of the lace and stuff, but it was definitely vintage. Um, there is the union tag. That's a little bit better picture. Uh, I think I thought it was around the 1970s or so age wise from what I could tell. I'm not the best at, at you know, at the vintage thing, figuring out the years or whatever, but it did sell for 22 with a shipping discount. I ended up making $15 and 23 cents on it and it sold within two weeks. So definitely I had heard that these types of things had a big following and it seems that that is correct. People are looking for these vintage corsets. <laughs> so if I find more, I will definitely be picking them up. Even if they have a little bit of, not a lot of damage, but a little bit of damage, I'll pick them up. Uh, next, I finally sold this stupid math equations, black hoodie sweatshirt, size medium. It just had like, it was just a fun math stuff all over it. It did have some wash wear and it did have these dirty ties, <laughs> but it finally sold for $16 with the shipping discount. I made $9 and 33 cents. It took a year and two months to sell. So I was accepting any offers at that point to get rid of it. So goodbye. See you later. And then lastly on Poshmark, I sold another thing from my personal closet. It was this really cute Beatles Abbey Road fringe crop t-shirt, um, black size, extra, extra large 19. It had like fun fringe on the sleeves and the bottom of it and it was new with tags i just never wore it so uh it did finally it sold for 16 dollars not taking um not really taking a profit on it uh, but it sold a couple weeks after listing it so that was good it did get a lot of attention when i first listed it a lot of people were interested in it, so it sold pretty quickly. And again, it's from my own closet, so. And lastly, you guys aren't even going to believe it, I made an eBay sale. <laughs> and it's a global shipping sale, so it's going to Australia. <laughs> um, I didn't really make any money on this sale, but it was something that I was happy to get rid of had this forever obviously it is um a cytology microscopic anatomy study book from the veterinary boards here in the u.s so uh i don't know i saw the person who bought it i saw that they might get books to help i don't know it's like a library or something like that so i don't know what it, exactly they're going to do with it over there but it's uh, got all the stuff you need to study for parts of the um, national boards here. You can see all the fun pictures and stuff. So I was happy to get a little bit of money back from buying it. And it'll be interesting to see how it goes. It's, I did use global shipping. So it's my first time doing that. <laughs> I still use pirate ship and hopefully there's no issues with it getting to where it needs to go. So we will see. <laughs> well, you don't have to figure out the international shipping with the global shipping. You send it to Kentucky, I think is where it's at. It's like um, they have a center there and then they do all the, the actual international stuff. So I just had to get it to Kentucky. So I paid, I think like $3 and 82 cents for shipping because it was media mail. So it wasn't too bad of a thing. 
so far. I mean, it has to get to Australia still. So we'll see what happens. <laughs> but that is our sales for the last two weeks or so. Uh, thank you for joining me today. And the big announcement, I am so close to 500 subscribers. What's up, Roy? Happy Tuesday. I am so close to 500 subscribers. I have decided when I hit 500 subscribers and actually stay at 500 subscribers consistently that I will be doing a fun thrift with me. Um, <laughs> yeah, I had to check to see if it was Tuesday. This is what happens when you've been in Orlando and then, yeah, I've been all over the place the last couple of days. <laughs> um, Let's see. When I reach 500 subscribers, I'm going to do a thrift with me and it's going to be a big bins haul. And I'm going to take the entire haul and put it in boxes and sell them for $5 plus shipping on Poshmark. So they will be inventory boxes for resellers. And so I still have to get to 500. I'm at, I think, 393 today because I lost another person. So not 393, 493. So anyway, if you're interested in a box like that, oh, stay tuned. <laughs> Hopefully you get to 500 point. <laughs> anyway, those were our sales. That was the announcement is that I'm going to be doing some reseller boxes on Poshmark when I hit 500 subscribers. So definitely stay tuned for that and have a happy, happy Tuesday. And hopefully I'll have a video either Thursday or later this week. Um, and the rest of the week I'll be working. So yay for that. <laughs> Got to make that money to pay for these trips. I might be going back to Orlando for my birthday. Have to see. So Nice. Yeah, I might be doing, I don't know, I, I want to do some auction type stuff too, but I just haven't had the time. I've had a lot going on, had some medical procedures and things lately. So I haven't done a lot with my YouTube besides my regular videos recently. So anyway, have a great one, guys. I will see you next time and remember to help control the pet population and have your pets spayed or neutered as always. Bye.